Oh man, that looks amazing. Yugi no is gonna freaking hate me. I'm not gonna lie, dude, that is pretty sick, but I got a playset of my own. In English. Plus all of these. Also in English. Perks of being Yugi Jesus, I guess. start this video off by giving a huge, huge shout out to Spectre Collectibles. This isn't even all the tokens that they've made me, guys. Uh, they've made me all the good Cyber Dragon stuff that's coming out. You know, the three Hertz, the three uh, Veer, the three uh, Rev system, okay? They made me these, but they also made me the Trap Card. They made me Seeker. Oh my gosh, they go, they, they wrote me. You guys will see at the end of the video. I'm going to open what they sent me at the end of the video, but they're like, Yugi Jesus can't be testing with charcoal rare printed off cards. No, 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 no. You need to be testing in style. So they sent me all these thank you guys so much spectre collectibles guys they're freaking nuts i don't even ask them to send me stuff they just straight watch my channel and send me crap just all the time i'm serious i have like zero communication with them they're just great and just send me crap i don't know what to say but like i don't know what to say but thank you uh, whoever you guys are whoever's idea it is to keep sending me this cool stuff thank you guys you guys are freaking awesome and of course i have to give a shout out to all my patrons you guys are fantastic thank you all so much for your love and support i don't know how to pay you back but i can get you guys 10 percent off of any map from metamask Com. If you guys do want that discount from any map from metamats.com, then enter in the code Eugene versus Jesus, and you will get that discount off of any map that you want. But now, guys, with all the shoutouts out of the way, I am super excited to get into this deck profile because I have been testing it and testing and testing it, and I love brilliant Cyber Dragons, guys. You, you know that that's been my baby. I came up with it a long time ago, you know, I mean, a long, long time ago, and uh, Sam helped me come up with it and stuff like that, uh, you know, forever ago, and we came up with different versions of the build, you know, and I came up with different versions of the build after that, and I've come up with several Power Bond builds, you know, and all kinds of stuff for Cyber Dragons, uh, but uh, with the new support coming out, you know, with the new support coming out in Cybernetic Horizon, I wanted to do a deck profile well before, you know, uh, that comes out and before we get brandishes, you know, and all this other stuff. I really just wanted to do a deck profile using the new Cyber Dragon cards, but using cards that we already have and try to create more of a pure Cyber Dragon deck uh, to show you guys something that you can, you know, base your own decks off of. That was, you know, the goal in creating this deck, as well as to create a deck that is common Malicious and does everything that it should do on its own and this deck does do that it's a rank 5 deck it is it does everything that you want it to would want it to I should say as a rank 5 deck and I'm going to explain everything to the best you know the best I can to, uh, so you guys know why I chose all the cards that I chose and everything and I'm also going to be showing you guys combos and show you guys how to play the deck and uh, how to end your boards and everything so now with all that being said let's go ahead and get into this deck profile and then open up some mail all right so first up we have the king himself Simon. Cyber Dragon. I don't know if he's really the king, but he's the king in my eyes, guys. So the monster that started it all, um, Cyber Dragon. You gotta play three copies of it. He's your he's your free uh, special summon beater, of course. And then I play uh, three copies of Cyber Dragon Core because he's literally still the best monster in the deck, guys. Like he really, really is. Like even with Hertz and Veer and stuff, like he's the best monster in the deck still because um, you know he's a search card for your search card, and he gets you to Cyber Dragon, and he's a machine dupe target. He is he's everything for you. He's just everything for you um, and then next up I uh, play three copies of Hertz guys three copies of Hertz because this card is pretty good too <laughs> like I mean it's the other machine dupe, uh, dupe target now uh, with a cyber dragon core so that's really good um, this guy can make himself a level five when he special summoned from the graveyard uh, but you can always summon machines that turn so um, in other words guys I've used him to completely replace dry in the deck dry is just not that good um, and I really like um, his search effect being able to search a cyber dragon when he sits in the graveyard is pretty good I actually like that a lot because like it's an instant when you send this guy off a brilliant fusion I mean you instantly get a light for galaxy soldier like right there on the spot And then you know you're dumping that cyber dragon off a galaxy soldier Which gives you a target for Nova and stuff like it's just it, it, it goes from there and like it builds from there guys And uh, originally like I thought that um, you know the uh, summon machine uh, Only summon machines the rest of this turn um downside of Hertz was going to be a bigger problem in the deck You know of uh, you know the, the that being the, the downside of dry too. Um, I thought that was gonna be a bigger problem with the deck which which is why I was like initially like eh, maybe we should start moving away from like brilliant fusion but um, upon uh, playing further like brilliant fusion just fixes too many bad hands for you and stuff and it's just like and, and it clogs less for you like I mean unless you draw you know uh, Garnet and brilliant it's just like it's just way better than the uh, symphonic warrior engine like I was like reluctantly moving to the symphonic warrior engine just because I felt like since those are machines and uh, you know cyber dragons have that downside of only being able to summon machines um, you know they have certain downsides certain cards with those 
downsides. Um, I thought that was going to be the way to go. Um, but uh, upon playing and testing more, guys, seriously, like uh, the Brilliant Fusion Engine is still just as good in this deck as ever. It's, it's actually, it makes the deck better than it was before, you know, when I was rocking the Brilliant Fusion Engine, um, you know, forever ago in this deck. But um, so uh, that's it. Uh, you know, that, I kind of went off on a tangent on Hertz, but, um, you know, for the rest of the Cyber Dragon monsters, uh, you got to play uh, three Veer. And like, even though Veer's uh, special summon effect is once per turn, like I found, like when I was playing this at two, I kept wanting to see it in my opening hand. Like you have to max out on this thing. This card's actually really good. And it's like another Cyber Dragon name, uh, you know, to go into Chimera Tech and stuff. I love how they all have the effect of, you know, being Cyber Dragon on the field or in the graveyard. That's so good. It's what the deck needed. I'm glad that they, you know, kept up with that, you know, um, based off of core and dry and stuff. It's really, really good. Uh, so uh, Veer, guys, long story short about Veer, like uh, even though it's once per turn, um, it is another Cyber Dragon name and uh, you just want to see it all the time because uh, going into Genius with this thing is pretty good. It's also why you play like, against Diffusion and stuff. Uh, then uh, for the other multiple, like three uh, multiples, you gotta play uh, three Galaxy Soldier because I'm um, like, <laughs> Galaxy Soldier is probably, it's like the other best card in the deck. Like, I mean, you pitch a light monster, special summon itself, it's a level five and then you get a search for another copy of itself. It's just, it's so, so good. And uh, this really, it really comes in handy like um, yeah, Galaxy Soldier searching another copy of itself so you can uh, sack your own Seraphonite like for your second normal summon, which comes in handy a lot, especially with your machine dupe combos and stuff like that which I will be showing you guys in the com uh, combo section of the video. Like, it's very, very important. Uh, the Playing the Brilliant Engine and stuff, uh, seriously, will make uh, more sense um, when I show you guys the combos and everything. Uh, so, uh, two Golden Jets, uh, because uh, three of it was, like, too much. And, uh, honestly, you can get by with one. I just don't know what... Um, I couldn't decide what I wanted the other... Um, card this with this card to be so i just uh, kept with uh two golden jets uh because the uh i didn't want two jizukiru because jizukiru like i like playing two jizukiru don't get me i freaking like I, if i had it my way i'd play the whole kaiju engine in here i love going second with this deck but just to keep it able to go first in the brick as little as possible i'm only one jizukiru uh, you I just want to you want to search this thing off of cyber repair plants you don't really want to draw it when you go first because this does nothing and nothing for you going first uh save maybe be um a light target for or Galaxy Soldier in your hand. Uh, then that's about it. <laughs> like, I mean, uh, so uh, Jizukiru, way better going second. Way, way better go going second than going first. So you want to uh, search this thing uh, when you end your combos or something like that, or like, you know, search this for, for your next turn, or leave this in deck for your next turn. Um, I will say it does suck to banish this thing off of Desire sometimes, but like, it's worth it because Desires is a plus one. So like, uh, it's worth it just to banish your Kaiju. Like, the thing is, that plus one, like, gets you to more places than like just a Kaiju will. It's hard to explain. Uh, it's like, the plus one like you know more worth it i should say and then uh, the last monster and the main deck is jim knight garnett that's it the, the, the brilliant fusion targets and i wish we had a better brilliant fusion target you know that wasn't just such a brick if you drew it but you know uh, he's just the biggest uh, brilliant fusion uh, it's the biggest uh, brilliant fusion target you know he's 1900 attack you gotta play it i don't know <laughs> he's, he's the garnet guys he's the garnet he is the garnet i don't know what else to say so that's all the monsters let's go ahead and move on to the spells and for the spells i'm playing a three brilliant fusion because of course you're you want to see this it hope oh, it starts off your deck and it gives you a level five on the board uh gives you two normal summons like this card guys i mean you once again you will see in the combos like this card is just way too good and it's uh, it's just you know it, it saves you hand space too because you know if you draw a guitar like for example you know if you're playing the symphonic warrior engine like these would be guitars right um if you draw a guitar like you have to pitch a card from your hand and you have to pitch it for cost and if it gets ashed like you're really screwed and you just lost a card versus brilliant fusion if you activate it and it gets ashed you just lost one card and it's not that big of a deal um you know in comparison so like and um, plus like you just really it's a dumping you know hurts from deck is, is just too good so uh, really guys uh, like as much as i was like kind of looking forward to you know uh the, the just rocking the symphonic warriors and stuff because i thought that was a cool you know direction of you know for the deck to go in uh the brilliant fusion engine is just it's still better it's just still better and it's too good <laughs> it's too good and like presumably um if this isn't banned which i don't think it's going to be but if this this engine isn't banned uh, by the time uh you know the new cyber dragon stuff stuff comes out definitely like it's gonna be it's gonna be played guys I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be played the the, the card's just too good like this and, and this raises the ceiling of so many other decks not just cyber dragons guys this engine pick it up like this engine's like freaking good and let's splash it in your decks it's freaking fun uh so uh machine duplication though uh three machine duplication because it's probably the, it's your it's your biggest combo in the deck guys like uh, like machine dupe on core is still like your biggest combo in the deck and now that you have hertz is a machine duplication target too it's just it's just better it's just that much better um 
it's, it's so good. And then uh, three instant fusion uh, because you have a machine instant fusion targets, which is busted. <laughs> you have to, you have to, you know, you have a level five light machine in your extra deck for an instant fusion targets um, plus that uh, you can let die at the end phase uh, for a pseudo MST. Don't forget you can do that because um, so, like, like sometimes that's like that's out of me stuff. I'm serious, the guys. There's been at least two occasions where that's actually added me like one time in particular added me a prohibition. I'm not even playing. So yeah, like uh, instant fusion freaking good. Um, shout out to Spectre Collectibles again, man, for making me these freaking tokens and the stuff like these these uh, proxy cards. They're freaking great. Um, uh, Cyber Rev System, guys. It's a monster born for Cyber Dragons. That's not once per turn. This card is nuts. Like this card helps fix the deck so much, so freaking much, and it works so well with Brilliant Fusion and stuff. Like oh my gosh, like guys, like this card is so lit. Like it, it's so freaking good. Um, and because it's not once per turn, it's amazing with Cyber Dragon Core uh, versus um, Cyber Repair Plants, guys. Uh, trust me. After all my years playing Cyber Dragons and stuff, and I've gone back and forth a million times between two and three Cyber Repair Plants. Two is the perfect number. Trust me, two is the perfect number. The hard once per turn, guys, sucks. Um, and you're already like playing three instant fusion because you want to see the instant fusion. So having like the two hard once per turns like sucks. And like honestly, guys, uh, you only resolve two in a game. I like I, I've never resolved three repair plant in a game. And like the more I realized that, the more the more I was like, two is perfect. So, like so um, honestly, like I mean, if you if you have like you know no other cards you can throw in and you've already thrown in an upstart, by all means throw in our third repair plants. Uh, you know, or something like that. But um, the two is the perfect number. It doesn't change the two being the perfect number. That's really what I'm getting at here. Uh, then uh, two, a pot of desires. Uh, obviously, you want to um, draw your brilliance and your desires, or you know, brilliant fusion before you desires. But um, if you uh, have to desires to see some advantage and banish your brilliant fusion stuff, like so be it. You know what I mean? If you have dead brilliance in the deck, so be it. You need to see advantage right there. Try to see an out to whatever you know situation is going on right then and there. You can't just wait to top deck a brilliant fusion. You know what I mean? So like Pot of Desires, freaking good. It's like so freaking good. And then uh, Upstart, Upstart Goblin is just the other draw card. And it's because like um, I'm playing Upstart instead of the third Desires because like I don't like drawing Desires off the off of Desires. And you're playing a lot of once per turns already. So like two Desires is just fine, you know. Um, and then um, for the other one of uh, besides Upstart, uh, Soul Charge because um, you, your opponent can negate all your stuff and you don't care. You can Soul Charge all of it back and win. Um, and then a uh, Monster Reborn because... Because, um, honestly, like, even with three rev system, like, monster, having, like, an extra special summon uh, for a level five or something is never bad. <laughs> like, it's never bad. Plus, uh, there's boards, uh, you know, there's times where, like, you'll sack your Seraphonite off of, um, you'll sack your Seraphonite up for, like, Cyber Dragon or something like that, and you'll have, like, uh, you'll have the opportunity to make Durindal, and, like, Monster Reborn will get you that, that Seraphonite back for, like, Durindal or something. So, like, uh, Monster Reborn, pretty lit. Like, it's still really good. Um, so, but if this card gets banned, uh, make this, I don't know, uh, uh, third repair plant or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you'd make it or a one for one or something like that but I didn't really like one for one in this deck you can't argue a one for one in this deck because uh, you know Hertz is a level one but I, I test a one for one in this deck guys I didn't like it so uh, yes no one for one in this deck uh, reasoning because this card is still freaking lit <laughs> you hear and your levels are all over the place and this is my spicy tech guys you know that uh, and then for the last card in the main is just foolish burial because uh, going seconds uh, this card's really really good and this card uh, even though this card does suck going first sometimes um, it it does fix dead hands going first and you know that there's been the hands I've drawn guys where foolish burial has fixed it going first I'm serious so like foolish burial like as much as I sometimes I try to cut this from the deck I do because it just kind of sucks sometimes when you go first but um, going second this card's way too good and it fixes dead hands and stuff uh, way too often uh, plus it's like I mean you plus you know you can instantly you know foolish hurts now and get a search for cyber dragon like right there on the spot and then the special cyber dragon and go from there so like foolish burial guys is just way too good in the deck way too good in the decks but that is all 40 guys that is all 40 in the main let's go to this extra deck and for this extra deck i'm not gonna lie guys i'm gonna point out the two cards that don't really belong as much that i threw in here but i'm gonna mainly focus on the 13 cards that are just absolutely mandatory and the other two slots can be whatever the format calls for in the future i'll show you what i have right now but you know that's gonna change so um Two Cyber Dragon Nova, plus this whole deck might change, of course, because we don't know what's gonna, you know, what's gonna happen in a couple of months. But um, we're, we're gonna go through this anyway. So uh, two uh, Cyber Dragon Nova because it's the perfect number, and um, it's it's the best it's the best card in the extra deck. This is your combo extender, your OTK machine. This is uh, what you what gets you to uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity. 
uh, everything. This card is everything in your extra deck for you. It's the best card in the extra deck. It's so freaking good. Um, and then uh, Pleiades, uh, the standard. I mean, plus you can bounce your own Kaiju. Like, really, 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 really good. I bounce your own uh, Cyber Dragon Core for next turn. It's a move, you know, I admitted a long time ago. I uh, showed you guys uh, several different times now, and I'm going to show you guys in the combos for this video how I like to end uh, with Cyber Dragons uh, using uh, Pleiades. It's uh, like what, what, you, what I try to, like, I'm going to show you guys, uh, you know, the same thing I've showed you guys with Pleiades, but I'm going to show you, uh, show you guys why, once again, why, um, you know, for you, for you guys that don't know, why uh, you want to end uh, with a core in your hand and Cyber Dragons and stuff, using Pleiades uh, to your own advantage, not just bouncing your opponent's monsters, so. Um, but, uh, like I said a minute ago, you can also bounce your own Kaiju, uh, <laughs> Kaiju your opponent again, so that is also very, very good. But, um, Artifact Dorindle, because uh, you pop your own spell, like your own Dead Brilliant Fusion, uh, you know, after your Seraphonite's gone or your overlay, you know, for this thing with Seraphonite, for example. Uh, plus, uh, this thing also uh, helps fix dead hands and stuff, and, uh, you know, you can uh, make this thing uh, using, uh, yeah, uh, you make, you know, long story short, you make this thing and try to fix a bad hand. I don't know how else to, how else to put it. Like, you can use this thing to try to, like, you know, leverage yourself into a better hand and try to make a better board um, or something like that, or at least, you know, just put yourself in a better situation than you were, um, or you can use this uh, for disruption during your opponent's turn. It's just a really, really good card. Um, and so this is the, one of the ones I was talking about a minute ago I don't know about. Um, Heavy Armored Train Iron Wolf. On paper, it can go in the deck. It's something I've had on the radar for a deck, you know, in the deck for a long time, like, as I've explained in another video. Uh, but um, and, uh, with Veer, um, you know, you're, you're able to make a rank fours a little more. Uh, plus, you have, uh, you know, Golden Jet and stuff. So you can make rank fours, and this thing does is a searcher and uh, boosts your machines or boosts... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, you can uh, make it attack. You can choose a machine to make it attack directly. So this card isn't terrible, but I'm, what I'm going to tell you guys right now, though, is it's not, like, necessary. Like, you could cut this for whatever you guys wanted to. Uh, this right here, though, was absolutely necessary, the first cards I showed you. Uh, then um, Seraphonite, um, then, like... You're good, Chimera attacks, like one of each. Like I never resolve, you know, more than like one of these in a, in a duel ever. Like because, I mean, duels are over so fast. Like within like, you know, five turns, like literally within five turns always. So um, yeah, one one of each uh, Chimera attack. Uh, one Panzer Dragon, um, you can bump this up to two if you wanted to. Um, I'm playing a Ryzen. This is the other one you could change to whatever you want. Um, you know, this is the other card I was talking about. But um, I like Ryzen because, you know, having like that book option and another like, you know, level five option you can go into off of instant fusion uh it's, it's nice you know having that uh, for going second is pretty nice and then having this to go into um Durindle is pretty nice as well so uh just rise him but that could be anything um panzer dragon you know it one's perfect and then for the link monsters it's just a uh, cleafor genius decode talker and then seeger because i mean seeger is really really good like i haven't needed proxy dragon or anything like most of the time honestly i don't even need decode talker because usually i can dirt my way into genius and i don't need to go into decode Decode Talker, but uh, you have to have Decode Talker because you'll use a, you'll you'll use a, your Seraph Knight to go into something. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, but yeah, like other than that, like it's just it, it, like you usually are able to derp your way into Genius. Like so, and uh, honestly, Seeger does the job for you for an extra link monster as well. Like I mean, you could you could do Underclock Taker, you could do you know Proxy Dragon, you do like any other link monster right here. But like Seeger is it's actually really good, and I actually am falling in love with this card more and more. Like it's so simple, but like it does its job so well like it protects your infinity and stuff and it's just like this you know pointing left pointing down link like i don't know how else to explain it like the more i use this card the more i'm like okay i can see why this card exists it's just it's just does its job and it's just good i don't know how else to explain it but that is it for the whole deck guys i'm you know um, i'm not i'm not gonna explain you know the side deck or anything like that i'm not gonna build a side deck because you know they'll just be pointless it's already you know uh, arguably pointless to be doing this deck profile because i i mean i don't know what's gonna be legal in a couple of months you know what i mean no, none of us know what the the, the meta game is going to look like or anything in a couple of months so um, definitely not going to do a side deck definitely not going to do a side deck but um, let's go ahead and get into the combos though uh, let's go ahead and shuffle this up and uh, shuffle this up well because they just had everything stacked and then, uh, let's see uh, what we can draw here and then I'm going to rig up um, some really good hands like some busted hands some like ideal hands and uh, show you guys how to play those out as well so I'm um, going to shuffle up here um, then cut Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got out of this. So, um, not too bad so far. Um, really bad with this, though, because the Cyber Dragon, uh, you basically want to machine dupe into your Cyber Dragons off of core. You never really want to draw them when you go first. Uh, but going second, you, you don't care if you draw this. Like, going second, you're like... <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, like uh, going first, this card is kind of, you know, Cyber Dragon is kind of bad. But um, let's go ahead and no normal summon. This is like a warm-up hand. So uh, normal summon and then special summon. Activate core. Um, since we already have repair plant, we're going to go for... 
uh, rev system because rev system is really really freaking good and uh, if we had machine oh my gosh man i wish we had uh machine duplication here uh, let's go ahead and try to i guess um pot of desires for machine dupe why not because if we can get like score machine dupe without banishing our other cyber dragons right now that'd be pretty lit like that would be pretty freaking good so let's or like uh, or um you know get into um seraphonite or something like that without banishing a uh, garnet or something that'd be pretty good so let's go um desires one two three four five six seven, eight nine ten and one and two so very interesting that goes to a galaxy soldier so that's really good so that goes to a galaxy soldier and it banished another galaxy soldier and banished only one of our cyber dragons one brilliant fusion so not too bad off the banishes did get a galaxy soldier so banished a little bit of everything but so we'll just have to keep that in mind but uh yeah definitely a decent enough banished off of desires to where we can keep on trucking and playing right now from here we can honestly just go like galaxy soldier pitch cyber dragon Search out and the other galaxy soldier out of our deck that we didn't banish off desires. Um, we can go repair plants. We've already used our normal sum for jets. So what would we want to repair plant for here? Because we just got the other galaxy soldier. So we could repair plants for... I mean, honestly, we could repair plants for Hertz because um, we haven't used Hertz's effect yet. Yeah, we haven't used Hertz's effect yet, and we haven't seen, like, um, you know, machine duplication, and we got rid of our, you know, basically, we might as well make machine duplication a dead card because of what we're about to do. So um, let's go ahead and uh, Galaxy Soldier again, pitch Hertz. Uh, Hertz's effect kit kicks in, give, giving us, um, I guess we can give, get us another... Uh, I mean, either way, I mean, it depends on what you want to do here. Like, you can, like, Hertz, so let me back up. You can Hertz a pitch, um, you know, pitch that from hand again to search from Cyber Dragon from deck. Um, or you can go ahead and uh, use these two. So you can use these two, right? And uh, go into, uh, where's my extra deck? You can go into uh, Cleafor Genius, for example. So, like so. And then uh, what you can do is do that. And then activate... Um, Activate uh, Hertz's effect to get uh, that core back to your hand. Hertz says, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one other Cyber Dragon from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So, and since a core is treated as Cyber Dragon in the graveyard, I can just bounce the core to hand. Like, why that's uh, really, really good is because the next turn I have a uh, core. Core gets me to repair a plant. Repair a plant gets me to Jizakiru, and I can, um, you know, Chimera Tech that way. So, and that goes into uh, what I was trying to um, explain is you kind of want to, uh, you, like, Jizakiru, guys, you want to, um, you want to search Jizakiru, um, see, see how I left it in deck, um, see and I didn't ban I saw that I didn't, sh didn't uh, banish it off of uh, Desires, um, and that's something I should have explained a second ago, but like I, I saw that I didn't banish it off Desires, so like what I want to try to do is I want to try to end with the core in hand, either by getting it off of Hertz or off of uh, bouncing it off of my own Pleiades, and uh, that way I can search out uh, the Jizakiru next turn, uh, that's why you want the core in hand, it's really really good. Uh, so anyways, though, we have the uh, Jizakiru in deck, so um, from here um, we can go ahead. I mean, honestly, like, let's just go ahead and try to build a board. Let's try to build a board now. So, um, go into Nova. Uh, Nova is just two machines, uh, two level five machines. Uh, activates, detach, special summon uh, this Cyber Dragon from Grave. And then uh, from here, what we can do, um, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, from here, we can uh, special summon the Cyber Dragon from Grave, but, but like, you can uh, just use these two and go into Seeger. And why you would want to go into Seeger is because uh, you would just slap the Nova, you would just slap the Infinity on top of this. Um, there's probably a, there's probably a couple different ways you could have ended this board and stuff, but uh, I just wanted to um, you know express that the main point is that for next turn you if you if you can get core back to your hand and cyber dragons you want to do it and that's kind of like the point that I want to kind of enforce right now because uh, this. Uh, really gets i mean this really like lets you clap back like core on your next turn like if your opponent outs all of this stuff right which isn't hard to do this lets you clap back really hard so like core is just it's really really good i don't know how else to get through to you guys but uh seeger uh like why uh, seeger is uh really really good uh is because it protects infinity because it says um this card's name you know blah 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 uh during the battle plays if this card did not declare an attack uh you can target one machine monster you control with 2100 or more attack uh that monster gains 2100 attack and defense. Also, neither player takes battle damage from battles involving this card. So, um, basically, what it does is it helps protect your infinity, like when you detach off of infinity's effect. Like, basically, it helps keep your infinity alive so it can't be attacked over so that you can get another gate negate on your opponent's turn. Basically, that's what it does, and that is why you would end with uh, Seeger and um, Infinity with that particular hand with a core in hand. Uh, but once again, there's uh, probably different ways you can do all that, but that is how, uh, more or less, how I would 
do it unless I miss something right there. Okay, now though, uh, we're gonna rig up something stupid broken. And I don't know about you guys, but this looks really stupid broken to me. Uh, but I'm gonna explain why. And uh, now, now that um, I, you know, I forced Brilliant Fusion in my hand, um, in comparison to those last hands, I can show you guys just how much a Brilliant Fusion helps improve the deck. Uh, so um, let's, let's start this off. So uh, Brilliant Fusion, um, that's gonna send um, your Garnets and your Hurts. And your Hertz is going to add Cyber Dragon to your hand, and that Brilliant Fusion is going to get out uh, Seraphonite, right? So, fair enough, right? So we got out Seraphonite. Uh, what you're going to do next is you're going to use that Repair Plant to uh, search out, um, do do do. You're going to search out Cyber Dragon and Veer. So search out Veer, right? And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to go um, Normal Summon a, a Cyber Dragon Core, okay? You want to go Normal Summon Cyber Dragon Core Chain and Summon um, Veer, and you can summon it. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't care, like over here or something like that. Um, and then uh, Cyber Dragon Core's effect's gonna go through and that's gonna get you to um, Rev System. So, do, 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 where's that Rev System? So there's Rev System and here's where you're at. You have a Veer on board, Core on board, Rev System in hand, Cyber Dragon in hand. Uh, you used one normal summon off your Seraphonite. Um, from here, what you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna use your second normal summon to sack the Seraphonite for Cyber Dragon. Yes, this is what you wanna do, okay? <laughs> and uh, the, this is exactly why. Uh, so uh, what you can do from here um, is use uh, these two, um, so use uh, your Cyber Dragon and your Veer and go into Cleefort Genius. And I think you guys see why you do that now. Uh, because um, you sack your own Seraphonite to go into Genius and then activate Machine Duplication to um, get your two Cyber Dragons out of your deck into these two zones that uh, Genius opens up. And then um, Genius's effect will activate, giving you a search for Galaxy Soldier, or whatever you want, really. Uh, but in this case, uh, let's just go ahead and do Galaxy Soldier. Um, and then um, what we can do is go, um, we can keep expanding from here, but um, what we're gonna really do is, uh, I guess we can go Seeger. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess we can do Seeger. It just depends on how you wanna do this uh, from here, but you can go uh, Seeger out of these two, and then go uh, Instant Fusion, yeah, so, uh, yeah, Instant Fusion into Panzer Dragon, right? So Instant Fusion into uh, Panzer Dragon over here, um, and then overlay these two, go into Nova, activate Nova, detach, summon, and then uh, slap an infinity on top of this guy, and then uh, go uh, Rev System. So Rev System will get you to Cyber Dragon, overlay these two, and then um, what I was explaining uh, earlier with, uh, with Core, see what I did there? How I used a Seeger to do uh, uh, to do this in the little number. Uh, you can do that, uh, but how you really want to end is uh, going backwards. Uh, so instead of going into Seeger first, um, let me back up a little bit. So backing up to where right where we're uh, right here again, to where we have Genius on board, and I'm about to activate Machine Duplication. Let's do that same thing again, um, where uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be in deck. Yeah, that's going to be in deck. So uh, you go uh, Machine Duplication. So that gets out both of these guys, uh, both of your uh, Cyber Dragons. So Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon, and then that gets you. Uh, the Galaxy Soldier in hand, right? So pretty good, pretty good. Um, what you're gonna do is uh, your first move, and actually I think we're gonna have, no, 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 that's right, that's right. So uh, first move, you're gonna go into a Cyber, uh, you're gonna go into Cyber, no, you're gonna go into a Pleiades, so you go Pleiades, Bounce Core. Then what you do is you activate uh, that, pan uh, that Instant Fusion, go into a Panzer Dragon, and then activate a Rev System. Rev System will get you to Cyber Dragon, and then overlay these two. And that'll get you to Nova, detach, summon, and then uh, slap the infinity on top of that. And uh, that's the other way to play that out. So uh, that's the other way to play that out to where um, you don't have a Seeger on board. It's the exact same hand, uh, but uh, you don't have a Seeger on board, but you end uh, you end up like this. But um, although, um, if you notice, if that, uh, you know, if that uh, Rev System was uh, like a Galaxy Soldier, like a Light, I should say, for Galaxy Soldier, you could have uh, played that out a little differently as well. Uh, so yeah, the, that is pretty much uh, how you want to end those. If you can end with a core in hand, so you can, uh, you, know, uh, you know, search repair plant, repair plant, search Jizakiru, just cure your opponent, and then Chimera Tech. You know, if you want to go, you know, go into that one card combo. Uh, your next turn, if you want to secure that one card, card combo, I should say for your next turn uh, with Cyber Dragon Core. Uh, if you can do that, do it because it's really, really good. Um, and play. That's how you would play that out. Um, you know, don't forget, Pleiades can bounce your own cards, and uh, that still leaves you, you know, with a bounce during your opponent's turn, which is really good. And uh, yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much that's pretty much the deck. It's just a rank five combo deck uh, with the goal of uh, ending with. Uh, 
Infinity, Blades, uh, you know, Durindal or something, you know, I mean, ending with Genius at the very least with an Infinity, but if you can get that Durindal on top of it or Blades on top of it with that core bounced back to your hand, uh, that's just even better. It's just even better. If this hand is like really good and not like a total brick, we'll play this out as well. And uh, this isn't a total brick. Matter of fact, you guys get a bonus, okay? We'll play out one more. <laughs> okay, we'll play out one more. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll go, how do you, how would you play this out? Um, we can go Galaxy Soldier. Yeah, I mean, shoot, that's freaking good. So we'll go um, Galaxy Soldier Pitch, pitch uh, Hurts. So uh, Galaxy Soldier Pitch Hurts. So we'll put some in Galaxy Soldier right here for now, I guess. Uh, then uh, Galaxy Soldier Effect Hurts Effect. So Galaxy Soldier Effect and then uh, Hurts Effect. And then what we'll do is we'll um, repair plants for core. And then what we'll do is we will um, normal summon. Yeah, we'll um, summon that there. We will normal summon core. So normal summon Cyber Dragon core chain. And then uh, core's effect. And we'll chain that over here too. We'll chain that and make make it summon like over here out of our way. I like to keep everything out of my way just out of habit, guys. And like um, the, and uh, it's, it's I haven't developed like all my habits with this deck yet, so uh, it's not like muscle memory for me yet because I play other decks. But um, Cyber Dragon Core is going to search a uh, rev system, and uh, from here what you can do is uh, you can actually just uh, go ahead and like use that rev system already if you wanted to to bring out um, Hertz and then use uh, these two. To go into uh, Cleeford's Genius and then activate uh, Machine Duplication, bringing out your two. And this is an example of the deck without Brilliant Fusion, so that's really good too. Um, so you bring out these two. Um, Gen Genius's effect will kick in, giving you a search for a level five or higher, which is going to be, uh, I guess you'd get that other. Uh, since you can't get, I mean, you can't get core back to your hand. Shoot. I mean, you can get just another Galaxy Soldier so that you get all the Galaxy Soldiers out of your deck, I guess. I guess that would be okay. But you can also search Dizakiru or whatever you would want right here. Uh, so that's pretty good. And I'm just trying to decide, like, how I want to end this because you can go, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go these two. Let's go these two into Pleiades. Pleiades bounce core. So th that gives us our core to hand. Yeah, this is how I want to end. And then uh, what you'll do is you'll uh, Galaxy Soldier pitch, uh, I don't know, I guess your other Galaxy Soldier or Cyber Dragon or whatever you want to pitch right here. I guess your other Cyber Dragon or something, whatever you think is right to pitch. Doesn't really matter. Um, then summon out uh, Nova and then uh, Nova detach Cyber Dragon and then slap the Infinity on top of that. And uh, that's how you play the deck. <laughs> it's, just, it's just another way to get to the same kind of board. And it's not a it's not a terrible board either. I mean, uh, you, you got the clap back and, uh, you know, you have a Cyber Dragon special summon to boot too. So technically, uh, with this kind of hand right here, since we have a spare Cyber Dragon, like if your opponent outs all of this, like your opponent just freaking drops a sphere mode on you or whatever, just like spanks you, right? You can go and the, the, on your next turn, just special summon, normal summon, and then go, okay, uh, search, uh, repair plants... And then activate repair plant, search Jizakiru, Jizakiru. And then if you wanted to, you don't have to just use these two to go into Chimera Tech. You can use all three of them and go into Chimera Tech if you wanted to. But uh, usually I only use two because, uh, you know, you've already outed that monster and you get that extra attack in uh, with both of those. Uh, it's still one of my favorite moves in the game, guys, uh, going into Chimera Tech like that. It's freaking like Jizakiru, Chimera Tech, such a fun freaking move. And uh, yeah, guys, um, I hope that explains um, everything that this deck can do. And I hope that, um, you know, you guys uh, learned a thing or two. And I hope that you guys pick up the deck and play it because this deck is super fun. There's a reason why I played it for so long guys it's not just because it's you know my favorite deck or one of my favorite decks it's because it's just really really fun to play there's a reason why it's one of my favorite decks guys because it's that fun to play you know and I like to you know spread the joy of the deck around because it is just super fun like I haven't met a cyber dragon player that I didn't like you know what I mean they've all been like super cool super nice guys and uh, this deck is just it's the same kind of way it's just a uh, just a super you know cool laid-back fun linear deck to play that uh, that you can do some really cool dirty things with if you want to but um, guys Guys, that is it for the deck profile. I just wanted to, you know, provide something, you know, put something out there, uh, you know, for you guys that are more pure Cyber Dragon players, or if you guys are uh, just, or if you guys are just interested in the deck period, uh, just something that you can build or base, you know, your future Cyber Dragon decks off of um, after Cybernetic Horizon. I wanted to put something out there, like a good enough generic template to where you guys could copy, you know, copy it and, uh, you know, build from there, you know, and come up with uh, whatever you want to do and make the deck do whatever you want to do. And so that's what I was going for, and I hope that 
once again, I hope that you learned something, and I hope that at the very least uh, you can take notes and uh, just do it as I just said, like, you know, take notes and make the deck better yourself. That would be just absolutely fantastic. I hope that you enjoyed the deck profile, and until next time, guys, let's go ahead and get into some fan mail. Oh, man, this one's for my boys of Spectre Collectibles. Oh, this is gonna be lit. Oh, my gosh. These guys send me the coolest stuff, and I don't even ask them to. They just straight, like, I, I'm serious. Like, I have no contact with them. Like, I I mean, I might have messaged them, like, one time or something like that, but, like, seriously, they don't they don't bother me. They just, they just send me stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. They're, they're crazy. They're, they're, they're crazy people. But um, that's, that, that is everything out of that. Um, so you, like, let's see what this says. Oh, this is going to be freaking sweet, guys. Oh, my gosh. They make me the coolest stuff. Hello again, Yugi No No. You get a handwritten note this time hopefully the handwriting isn't too bad it's been a little while but don't act like you didn't see this coming we do want to apologize though there was an error with our printers and the cards came out thicker than they were supposed to regardless we hope we will this will uh, make playtesting and test drawing a little more colorful enjoy your friends specter collectibles dude thank you so so much you guys you guys oh my gosh so so i guess the pool tab pool tab what, what pool tab are you talking about so, uh, like, is this a pool tab? Hold on, hold on. Oh, yo, oh, so he's talking about the tape. So let me scratch this. You know what? I don't, I don't have time for this. I got scissors somewhere. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to cut this open. We don't, we don't have time for this, guys. We're going to cut this open and slide these right out of here if I can. Come on. Come on. Come out. Come out. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, I don't want to break these, though. Come on. Come on. Just get out of here. I just want to see what this is. I'm freaking excited. Come out. Dude, guys, this has the pool tab. There we go. That's the pool tab. Now let's see what these... Oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> you, you, Spectre Collectibles, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You have... Thank you so much. You guys are crazy. Thank you so much for sending me this stuff. Like, seriously, without, without me asking. These are gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Oh wow! I can't wait. These are so sick, I man. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm gonna straight. I'm gonna, I don't care if they're thicker. I'm gonna straight play these instead of normal cards when the cards come out. Do something about it. <laughs> do something about it. I'm Yuki Jesus. What are you gonna do? Call a judge on me? <laughs> Anyways, but thank you so so much. I know I use that joke a lot, but seriously, man, these are freaking that sick. Like these are that freaking cool. I, 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 oh my god, where's where is my Cyber Dragon deck? I, like oh no, it's in there. Well, freaking, I I can't wait to put this in there. You will definitely see these in a video uh, before too long I mean you're gonna see these in a the video but actually very very soon now that I think about it because I just remember in a video I had planned so you're gonna you guys are gonna see these in my cyber dragon deck very very soon sooner than you may think or you may have already seen them by the time you you guys watch this I don't know mm. <laughs> <laughs>